Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'm going to teach you a classical one. It's uh, Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. Real simple tune. Um, a lot of beginners start out and they learn the chords, but they stop at that. And I'm going to teach you how to play the verse and the chorus so you can play the whole song. It's real easy. So we're going to start out in the fifth fret. It's a G chord. But you're not going to use your index finger. You're just going to bar the second and third string down, fifth fret. Okay? I like to use my ring finger. If you want to use your ring finger and your pinky to cover them, that's your, prefer your preference. Uh, I'm not picky. I'm not perfect. So I just play the way I play. Alright? So, that's your first note. Them two strings, the second and third string down, fifth fret. Then you're going to take your index finger, third fret, third and fourth string down. And only hit them two strings. Then you're going to take your ring finger and the third and fourth string on the fifth fret. And then you're going to go back up to where you started. Index finger. Now you're going to slide up here to the 6th fret, and then 3rd and 4th string down, and then, okay, down 1 fret. You can either use whatever finger you want, okay, whatever works best for you. So, so far you have... Now we're going to start over again, and now just work it backwards. Alright, now, you don't want everything to roll together, blend together. You want to play it tight, uh, palm mute it, lift your finger up, uh, just get the strings to quit making sound, however you want to do it, okay? You want it tight. All right. All right. So that's the course. Um, you also see him. You know, when you listen to the song, you'll hear him uh, sometimes when they go up. They'll slide their ring finger and go. All right. And then other times, you'll hear him go. So, you just have to listen to the song and find out, you know, when and where they do them. But that's the chorus. Okay. Now on to the verse. You're going to be in the... This is easier than the chorus, so. Uh, G chord. You're going to power chord it. Hit the top string, second and third string. And you're going to palm mute it. And you're going to hit each individual string in a downward motion. Then, on your seventh time, you're going to slide down to the F chord, and you're going to do the same thing, but backwards. So, you're going to go, okay? You ain't gonna, you're not going to go, you're going to go backwards. And then you're going to go back up to the G chord and keep doing it. So, the tune of the song uh, goes. Okay? So, that's all they do. That's the whole verse. When they get done with the verse, then they're going to slide up, slide down, I guess, to the C. And it's a power chord. And you're going to hit them three strings. 
You're going to hit them open. Then you're going to go to the A chord, which is like the G chord, but up one. So you'll be... Okay? So when they get done with the verse, and then they go... And then smoke on the water. That's what that part is for. It's a bridge. And then you go back to where you started for the course. In the same index finger position. But you're going to go back to the beginning. Okay? So these are the only two areas that I'm working with right now. And you're going to do this. Then you're going to your last note for this is the same strings you're using for your ring finger. You're going to place your index finger on the third fret, second, third string down, and that's your. Alright? So it goes. back into the course. Alright, so all together, course, 